Even though we did see many operating systems trying to make its way to the top, it was still Android and iOS making 96% of the smartphone market. While Google was making Android better, there were these communities working towards turning Android modifications to a viable business. Among these developers, there were one such community which was capable enough to make a custom ROM as good as a stock Google's Android and was called as Cynogen. The company was started back in 2013 with an idea of making Android better than Google did. They did have grand plans to take over the world with a more commercial version of the community-built ROM. Even though the company did have potentials, but things didn't fall in the right place. Then eventually, the company was shut down. But that was in the end. From the ashes of Cynogen was born the Lineage OS. Before we start, if you're already running the Lineage OS, then you might have this doubt. Why my Lineage looks different from yours? It's because you would have chosen a different open gaps version. To get the pixel perspective, you need to choose the stock version of the open gaps, which will help you to get the pixel UI. This version of the gaps will give you the pixel launcher, round icons, and even the color screen, with a complete set of Google apps from your drive to the Google camera, replacing your ASP camera. And if you want to keep it clean, then you can still go with the micro or macro versions. In spite of being the first release from Lineage, I must say it's pretty stable. Swiping through the home screen is quite smooth, and that may be because it's built over the Cyanogen mod. The Lineage OS UI is almost similar to the stock Android. Starting off with the home screen, the Pixel Launcher brings a new set of icon pack giving it a more circle and flat look. The most important part of this launcher is the new long press feature, which is almost similar to the Apple's 3D Touch. If you long press on an application, it will pop up the most common function of that particular app. Unfortunately, this feature works only with the Pixel Launcher. On top of the home screen, you have the Google search, and right next to it, there exists the weather widget. On clicking the weather widget will open the all new weather app, which will show almost all the required information on a perspective with your location. The app also predicts the weather condition for the next 10 days. It also further provides an option to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The UI just makes you fall in love with this app. Sometimes it might lead you to open the app for no good reason. There isn't much difference in the UI of the notification tray, but there are some tweaks focusing on the core functionality of the status bar. Like if you swipe them from the center, it will give you only the notifications. But if you swipe them from the side of the clock, then the toggle options along with the notifications will be pulled down. This feature can be changed to your convenience from the options found in the settings menu. The status bar menu gives you extra options like to choose what icons should appear on the status bar along with the preference of your battery status style and also the position of your clock. Then there's something called as double tap to sleep which will send your phone directly to sleep mode or get locked just by double tapping your status bar. To access the app drawer, you need to swipe up from the bottom of the screen. I remember those days when I used to mod my ROM just for some good audio. But I must say the AudioFX app is the best equalizer ever made for Android, which is designed to help you get the best possible sound when listening through your phone. Usually users have a bad experience working on an equalizer app, unless he isn't a musician. But by far, AudioFX is one of those well-designed equalizers out there. You can thereby make your own custom modifications or choose some predefined filters. And to my knowledge, almost all the music apps work perfectly with the AudioFX tweaks. Ok now let's get on to the settings. Since Lineage is built over Cyanogen, it's no less in providing the standard tweaks. Under the display menu, you have options to increase or decrease the DPI level. Under the rotations menu, you are allowed to tweak your rotation functionality, with an extensible option of rotating a lock screen. This might come in handy with phones more than 5 inch. The expanded desktop option will help any app go full screen, by hiding a status bar or nav bar or both simultaneously. Now talking about the battery life, it's pretty impressive. All the Nexus 6 users know how bad is a battery drain with the device. Usually I can't get through the day, but Lineage turned out to be a lifesaver. In spite of few hours of gaming, music, browsing and day of use, my battery still had 20% left in him, which is pretty incredible. And further, Lineage provides you an option to optimize the battery level. The Extreme Power Saver mode gives an LO tint to your screen and sends the phone to battery saver mode, which works pretty efficient. Under performance, the battery optimization doesn't play any role allowing you to take full control of your hardware, thereby sacrificing your battery life. Talking about security, under privacy option, you are provided with an inbuilt app locker, thereby saving you some space from installing a third-party app. And hey, I also have a good news. If you're planning to root your device, then you just don't need a super SEO app. Instead, under the developer option, there's an inbuilt root permission controller, which can serve that purpose. I must say, for a first build, Lineage has done some pretty good job. No wonder most of the Cyanogen team are still working with the Lineage community and they've also promised to give weekly updates that by focusing on giving you a bug-free ROM. The only thing that I miss is the theme engine. For the fact the team has promised to give the theme engine back in the following updates. This is a pretty good start for a new legacy. Let's hope Lineage proves to be what it claims to be. Either way, thanks for watching.
your story droid sector our story this life